Forget ribs and the king of rock and roll, Memphis will be all about the Aggies and the Mountaineers come December 29th. Hello and welcome to our Campus Insider Studios. I'm Shay Pepler. He is our managing editor. Pete Futek and Few, we're talking about the Liberty Bowl. Let's start with West Virginia in this one. Some question marks surrounding Clint Trickett, the quarterback's health. But give me your X factor for West Virginia. I'm hoping this is a shootout. There's a lot of fun on this on both these teams. And I think this could be a lot of fun as long as the turnovers start come. And that starts with West Virginia. Don't turn the ball over. The problem is for the Mountaineers, their turnover margin this year has been awful. And with a lot of question marks on this offense and and so many problems for AM this year with their consistency offensively. Just don't give the Aggies a lot of easy chances. So if you're West Virginia, don't make a slew of mistakes. Use your running game. Don't take a lot of crazy chances. And again, do not turn the ball over. Yes, well, for Coven Sumlin in Texas AM, this is a 7 and 5 team. What needs to be the Aggies X Factor? Re rack it. Do not turn the ball over. Turnover margin, a massive problem for AM as well. And they have even bigger problems stopping the run. West Virginia has a great running game, but for AM, they, what they've got to really avoid is letting Kyle Allen bomb away and getting picked off, screwing up, giving the ball away, and letting this West Virginia team have easy chances to score. West Virginia does have an offense, but it's going to sputter a little bit here and there. And again, do not give them chances. So don't take wild shots down the field, AM. Use your running game, use your short, medium passing game. Don't turn the ball over. Both teams, whoever wins turnover margins, probably going to win this game. We have a theme here. Do not turn the ball over. Yes, I need a prediction for, everybody. for the Liberty Bowl few. I think it's going to be A&M because I do think West Virginia is going <laughs> to turn the ball over a little bit too much. Uh, I do think that with the time off, the run defense is going to be a little bit better. They're going to get pressure in the backfield. I like what A&M does to get behind the line. I think that's going to be the difference in the game. They're going to force the mistakes, and they're going to force those turnovers. Well, let's get a stat that you need to know. It's also a history lesson of this Liberty Bowl. The most received Exceptions in the Liberty Bowl history came by Deanne Branch of Louisville in 2000. He's Pete Futek. I'm Shay Pepler. There's your history lesson for the day. And for more surrounding Bull Nanza and all things bowl games, be sure to keep it locked right here on CampusInsiders.com.